It's almost winter time here in Australia, and what are we grim and bitter folk to do except indulge ourselves in brutal combat and the smelling of perfumes. Cheap perfumes. Mercedes-Benz Club. A fragrance for men. I'm going to be sharing my first impressions and thoughts on this one, and it's been highly requested in the channel's past. Mercedes-Benz Club has been often requested here on the channel and I'm looking forward to going into it with you guys today and uh, let's see what we've got here. So if that sounds good to you, let's get into the video. Like I said in the intro, Mercedes-Benz Club has been often requested here on the channel, so I will try and not make the mistake of calling this Mercedes-Benz Club Black. That is my fragrance of the day. And if you haven't smelt Mercedes-Benz Club Black already, expect a lot of vanilla, a lot of amber, and a deeply sensuous incense smoke note. It's phenomenal for the price, $40 Australian nowadays, which is ridiculous to me because it used to be 69 plus. This Mercedes-Benz Club is the exact same price. I'll show you the bottle right now. I got $5 off of it because it didn't have the plastic seal. Which, if you're out in Chemist Warehouse or Priceline and they've got fragrances on display, if you don't have the plastic seal, you can usually get $5 to $10, depending on how much it is anyway, shaved off the price. So don't be afraid to ask them because they're happy to just, you know, take a $5 loss here and there. And in all honesty, it's not so much a loss because they've got so many of these, it's ridiculous. So presentation is basic but classy, and that's pretty much across the board for the Mercedes-Benz brand. They all look very classy, a little basic. This one's silver, whereas Club Black is black, obviously. And opening up the packaging, fragrance inside. So at the $39 to $40 price point, let's just say $40 to be simple. At the $40 price point, this should be good value. The liquid isn't the deep amber color that it is in Mercedes-Benz Club Black. Out of the atomizer, I do get a hint of aromatics, but we'll have to spray this one before we go any further. I'll put some B-roll over all of this. Test the strip. Solid atomizer, exactly the same as it is with Mercedes-Benz Club Black. That is one of my favorite scents of all time. It's never let me down. Bright, punchy, vibrant citrus up top. A little aromatic. It's got like a really uh, a spicy note here. It's something spicy. It kind of reminds me of pink pepper or pimento, but I really don't think that's what it is. It actually reminds me a little bit of the spiciness in Dior Sauvage and Dior Sauvage Elixir and Latifa Assad, if you've ever smelt that, that affordable clone of Sauvage Elixir by Dior. And there's a really prominent amber note here as well, but not in like that really super warm, uh, huggable way that you get with Mercedes-Benz Club Black. This is more of a long, this is an amber green note that's more reminiscent of something that would feature in a pack of Raban scent. It is there, it is very prominent, and it's sort of overtaking all the other notes that I'm getting here. But I'm also getting a, a herbal quality, an aromatic herbal quality. It's sort of green and lush, uh, and a little tart. Yeah, it, it really reminds me of, sort of like if Pacaraban would kind of cross Invictus with Dior Sauvage, except not as aquatic, very fresh. I can already tell that this is going to perform like a beast. It is just emanating from the tester strip. This is very potent stuff. One spray. It's going to be pretty versatile. So if you're somebody that really needs versatility, if you can only afford one fragrance, then something like this is going to be strong enough for the colder weather, but it's going to be fresh and vibrant enough for the warmer weather. Same with um, Sauvage, really, because that's quite a versatile men's fragrance. This is its a very sexy scent. Like, for $40 Australian, what else can you really get here? It 
It's like that perfect convergence between fresh and warming. You know what I mean? That freshness, that spice. This is going to be a very versatile scent. I would say, unless you've got unfortunate skin chemistry where fragrances just really don't hold onto your skin, two sprays of this tops. Do not go over that because it is very strong just with one spray. I am going to spray it on my hand though because you will get a better representation of what it's actually going to smell like. Yen Atomizer, very solid. Perfume is alcohol immediately, so we're just going to let that dry down a little bit more. I get a touch less of that Ambroxan quality, that fake ambergris note. But I get more of those aromatics, more of that sort of... I know, it's sort of like leafy and tart, like that. there's a herbal note here. Yeah, it's very versatile. It's a little fresher on the skin than it is on the tester strip, so don't be surprised if you're testing it on your skin that it may come across as a little more summery to you. I wouldn't be surprised if that had happened at all. But yeah, it's a little fresher, but it's still the ambergris, that fake, um, that ambroxan note is still there quite prominently. It's sort of lifting those bright citrus notes all the way to the top. I get a lot of that herbal, a lot of that green note as well. It's very attractive. Uh, you know, if you're somebody that's really looking for a versatile fragrance here in Australia for $40, as always, Mercedes-Benz, what a brand to recommend. Super attractive cars, and the fragrances are super attractive as well, but much more affordable than the vehicles. It's like a little taste of affordable luxury, if that makes sense to you. That's what I would describe Mercedes-Benz Club as. I still prefer black significantly, just because vanilla, amber, and smoke, that's, that's me in a nutshell. But this has that freshness and that versatility, and I can already almost guarantee it's going to perform pretty well. So, if you're after a versatile scent, check this one out. Coming up next week, we're going to be looking at Abercrombie and Fitch. Authentic Night. I believe I paid 59 Australian for this. 100 ml, 3.4 fluid ounces. So stay tuned to that review. If you've ever worn Mercedes-Benz Club before, let me know in the comments below. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. And until the next video, my name is Ozzy Marcel, and I'll catch you guys around.